Most actors jump at the chance to become unrecognisable. With talented thespians well aware that a role that transforms everything the audience knows about them is a perfect opportunity to be completely immersed in a new character. That being said, plenty of actors are more than happy to make a living trading off of a recognisable image and see no great need to rot the boat by constantly reinventing themselves in the eyes of the public. There's no need to look any further than poor old Adam Sandler to find a recent case of an actor who went to great lengths to reinvent himself, only to be snubbed come award season. Obviously, the Academy must still be annoyed about Jack and Jill. Despite this sort of ill-advised risk, many actors are still throwing themselves into an opportunity to transform themselves. I'm Gareth from WhatCulture.com and here are 9 incredible body transformations for upcoming movies. Number 9. Jared Leto, Morbius Jared Leto is, to put it mildly, no stranger to the torturous process of transforming his body in pursuit of perfect performance. Whereas the likes of Christian Bale is almost always lauded for the projects he puts his body through hell for, Jared Leto's track record has been a bit meh. That being said, some of the thespians' efforts have been rewarded, like his massive weight loss to play an AIDS-affected trans woman, Rayan, in 2013's movie Dallas Buyers Club. With all that in mind, here's hoping his huge muscle gains for Morbius, an upcoming DC project which sees him play the titular living vampire, will be worth the massive effort required to pull off his body transformation and reap similar rewards to that of Dallas Buyers Club. Number 8. Mick Jagger Burnt Orange Heresy For some more extravagant stars, a wholesome body transformation can be as simple as dressing relatively normal and dropping their more dramatic and flamboyant trademarks in favour of a less recognisable wardrobe. Just look at Rolling Stones frontman Mick Jagger in the upcoming flick Burnt Orange Heresy. The iconic rock legend plays an art dealer in this thriller, and it's clear from the trailer alone that he's unrecognisable, issuing his typically flamboyant attire for muted suits and a style which, well, could pass off for a normal person. Yeah. Time will tell whether the film is worth the work of turning the rock god into one of us mere mortals. Number 7. Simon Pegg, Inheritance Okay, no, 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 no way. Ant-Man's abs are one thing, but Simon Pegg? Really? Like it, hate it, or just be mildly discomforted by the extremity of it, as the majority of online reactors seem to be, there's no denying that Pegg has followed in the footsteps of fellow former funny men Chris Pratt, Chris Evans, and the fellow 40s lever Paul Rudd. The former muse of Egg the Wright shared his progress to the awe of many, displaying a shocking level of definition on his trainer's Instagram post. Pegg set about dropping pounds to play the lead role in the forthcoming thriller, Inheritance. In fairness to the Hot Fuzz star, he reacted with a bit of a vague shrug to the internet's collective shock, noting that the snapshots of this new look were not meant to be an aspirational thing. Number 6. Kumail Nanjiani, The Eternals Over the last few years, countless beloved funny men have taken it upon themselves to accept a no-doubt generous offer from Disney Studios and hit the gym in order to obtain the contractually obligated Marvel physique, which I obviously do not have. Recently, the big sick creator and Silicon Valley star Kamel Nanjiani has become the latest recruit to the sculpted school of Marvel men. Dieting and training for a year, Nanjiani was almost in tears when a recent late night chat show appearance gave him his first encounter with snack foods in months. The results speak for themselves, with the actor displaying his newly shredded physique on an Instagram post ahead of The Eternals upcoming release date. Only time will tell whether Marvel's gamble on the Eternals will result in another box office smash. But if nothing else, Nanjiani is definitely already reaping the results of the project. Number 5. Emmy Rossum, Angeline Not every unrecognisable transformation comes down to weight loss or the acquiring of an absurdly jacked midsection. After over a decade playing the put-upon protagonist of Shameless, Emmy Rossum recently abandoned her dark locks in favour of a bright blonde barnet to star as Angeline the titular character of a miniseries from Mr. Robot creator Sam Esmiel. It's a fitting reinvention, as Angeline herself is a real-life pop culture icon, famous in Los Angeles for, well, for a decade-long pursuit of fame, really. A camp icon, Angeline is being immortalised in a television adaptation of The Hollywood Reporter's 2017 profile on her. Rosam is unrecognisable in the first glimpse she offered fans of the series via her Instagram. Gone is her signature mousy brown hair, in its place a bright gold buffon befitting an 80s icon. And I now kinda wish I had one. Number 4. Ethan Supley, My Name Is Earl, Reboot 
Okay, so we've sort of cheated for this one since the transformation was for a project which hasn't yet materialized. But former My Name Is Earl star Ethan Supley is on record as saying he wants a reunion of the classic Big Naughty sitcom. And trust us when we say you'll understand why we included his wish in this list. The star will be familiar to fans of everything from American History X to Remember the Titans, and one undoubtedly recognizable aspect throughout his entire catalog is his familiarly massive frame. The actor's never been slender by any means, and despite the evident diversity of his range, he was often typecast as a chubby, schlubbly comic relief character just due to his larger size. Supli so hit the gym and lost a whopping 180 pounds in the process. That's the weight of one entirely average adult man. One, one, one big person. Just put that into context, that is madness. Number three, Natalie Dormer, Penny Dreadful, City of Angels. Former Game of Thrones and the Tudors actor Natalie Dormer stars in the upcoming spin-off of cult paranormal horror phenomenon Penny Dreadful, and the period piece star looks said to be in fine form as the protagonist Magda. The trick is that Magda is a shape-shifting demon, able to change her appearance at will as best befits her needs. It's the sort of character you'd expect and hope to see in a Penny Dreadful extended television universe project. And with any luck, Dorma won't disappoint. However, this means the role sees her play a blonde, a brunette, her black-haired real self, and don countless other guises throughout the series, a healthy handful of which have already been glimpsed in the trailer. Dorma has looked both like her old self and utterly unrecognizable already in the few glimpses we've gotten of her character so far. Number two, Russell Crowe, Unhinged. Veteran actor Russell Crowe is no stranger to transforming himself for the sake of a challenging role. Having been in the business of vanishing into each performance for what seems like decades now. Whether it's the titular hero of Ridley Scott's epic Gladiator, or the heavyset gruff cop with the heart of gold in Shane Black's underrated buddy cop throwback, The Nice Guys, Crow has been able to embody every role he's taken on for years. However, the impressive commitment hasn't always paid off, as evidenced by the critical roasting he received for his less than stellar singing in Tom Hooper's 2012 hit, Les Miserables. As fine an actor as he is, maybe the thespian would be as well to stick to his day job when it comes to belting out solos. More recently, Crow has packed on a massive £55 to play a driver consumed by road rage in an upcoming psychological thriller aptly titled Unhinged. Coming in August, the film sees Crow inhabiting the role of an unstable man driven to pursuing some poor motorists when they make the mistake of beeping the horn at him. The huge weight gain has rendered the actor all but unrecognizable, so here's hoping the resulting flick from Disturbia screenwriter Carl Ellsworth will be well worth the work. And if anything else, I just would not want to be behind the wheel when that guy is coming towards me. Number one, Emma Stone, Cruella. Emma Stone has cycled through a lot of looks in her time, jumping from her natural blonde locks to her trademark ginger hair, depending on the project since her debut in 2007's romantic comedy classic, Superbad. Recently though, the star has been called on by the House of Mouse to offer her interpretation of one of the most iconic villains in cinematic history. And the resulting look is a transformative one for her, to, to say the least. Hmm. In the sole promotional image currently available from Disney's second reboot of 101 Dalmatians, Stone's Cruella de Vil is unrecognizable to fans of Glenn Close's 1996 iteration of the character, and indeed to fans of Emma Stone herself. Her hair split between jet black and ivory white halves of tight, wiry curls, Stone is bedecked in clownish makeup, more reminiscent of Harley Quinn than the cartoon villainess, and wears an outfit unfamiliar to any lovers of Dodie Smith's original fur bedecked character. That all being said, this project is intended to be a retelling of the story, not unlike the recent Maleficent series, so time will tell whether 2021's audiences will like what they see in the new Cruella de Vil. And whether they'll be able to tell it's the Zombieland starlet underneath the mountain of hair and makeup work. And that's our list. Know of any other incredible body transformations for films on the horizon? Let me know all about them in the comment section below. And do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to whatculture.com. Also, why not head on over to whatculture.com to read more incredible articles just like this one. I've been Gareth from whatculture.com. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you're having an incredible day like you deserve. And I'm sure I'm going to see you soon.